Fuck said they better than me. Uh -huh. Say it to my face, I ain't what it's gon' be. Who the, who the, who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dawg. That's me. Who the fuck said they better than me? Say it to my face, I ain't what it's gon' be. Who the, who the, who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dawg. Okay, we're gonna start with a pause up first. Show dog. ATM the professional. Worldwide wildin'. All done. Sweaty Mac. Yo, I did cuss. Excuse me. Kimchi TV. Bang. I am Kamani Kim. Because I am. Bang. Nigga. Side chicken. I ain't say that in a minute though. These motherfucking complexes. I had to cuss they ass out, my nigga. Oh my bad. I don't want the fucking bloods to get mad. Bye, Ru. These motherfucking complexes. I had to cuss they ass out, my nigga. Yo, the air's been out for like four or five days. They want to hit me with the, oh, we got uh, replacement units coming soon, right? Like a movie trailer and shit. I said, fuck that. What happened this afternoon is what they try to tell me. So what I do? Tell me what I did. If anybody knows me, know what I did. I went goose, nigga. All in the complex three times a day. I walked in there every hour on the motherfucking hour. Probably about five times. I didn't give a fuck, man. Like, yo, don't tell me you're going to have this shit popping and it ain't popping, man. It's hot, man. I'm glistening. Tap that ass shit. I got some muscles and shit. I'm just still skinny. Actually, I'm in shape. I'm round. My baby feed me good. Speaking of babash. Ha, baby. I love you, baby. And that's just what it is, man. Y'all don't even know, man. Kimchi TV, bang. All that shit's on Mr. Idea. Been hanging out in Arizona. We got a lot of Mexicans here. Beer salt, bitch, bang. And it's bomb. Little chilada. It's like a... But it wasn't even a, somebody out here that introduced me to this. My uncle in Chicago actually had me on this shit. Which was dope. But we got fucking Wax Delgado in the building, man. He, if you're not familiar, he's a man who produced finally for C.C. Peniston. I'm going to go ahead and just say, yo, he has the king in the pond on his page. You motherfucker. Thank you. You know how I was looking for this in the Nell Brooks segment. So we're going to play this and then play some motherfucking, some of your music, sir, because you go mode. But he also supports, uh, supports dope shit. He's been out here in Arizona. Hold on. Don't want the Crips to get mad. He's been out here in Arizona for a bunch of disses for the Ravers. You on E right now. This, he he been out here supporting all the dope people for a minute. He's done music with LV Sharp, fucking uh, Judge the Boss, and shit. I think he was even fucking with Young Gold for a minute. Shouts out to you, Gold. We tell fucking uh, Lamb Chop Buddy Love to suck a dick, nigga. He united the state. He don't even know, but we fucking chip off to that nigga, man. So we're gonna play this King in the Pond, man. Nell Brooks, Kalik. Oh, he fucks with Kalik Heavy Mode. Khalid, go. I played that legendary, and Wax was the first one. Like, yo, man, we just let me get it mastered. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yo, I feel you. Shit's hot. So we're going to go ahead and bust out this king of the pawn right now. Let's go. MPC3. Uh-huh. Say some Scarface shit. Smelly family. Khalid. Yes, sir. 85 fresh. Uh, I'm all the lies by my rhymes. I rise above those that lie and judge. I never nod the budge. Conniving hoes can leave your pride exposed. They be at your pain clearly. Chew your heart up nice and wrinkly. I'm in my land cruising, chilling, popping a willy. Never save a hoe, cause silly, really the billy. Silly, I'm out for billies while she be bobbing and knocking. Choking, sucking, and slobbing, and I never want it down. I'm no one up on the whip. Clips is you go slobbing. Looking for a problem, partner, you gon' find it. Don't need a record. 
chill, I'm diamond on consignment. Your whole team sloppy, they riders without a lime. Truly a shit day, but I never love Lucy. Mud cloth, goofy, mind stay Huey, but my money so chewy. Mirror, never a cross, paint a mirror, rag gooey. Don't Airplane, no baby, yeah. on your family, guys. At the end of the game, the king and the pun go in the same box, same box. Shots in the Shots out to Nell Brooks, UBA for the end of the game. Shots, 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 shots. At the end of the game, yeah. the king and the pond go in the same box. Yeah. Same box. Seven shots in the beam, I wanna be a famous guy, get him up, but I'm shot, living shot. life, uh, it's all fair, love and war, this shit is chess, not checkers, all connect for, real life is my stage, always on tour, and most of you rappers are just a bore, I saw Scarface at seven, and seven years later I have the understanding, on playing chess with man, and precision planning, going hand to hand, plus my single parent, I knew then, then time was money, eyes wide to the snoozers, Malcolm to be alive today if he had shooters. Martin to be alive today if he had shooters. Now any who can go rule through a computer. <laughs> I get mine and vanish. Bermuda, triangle defense, and at the top there's a shooter. And I'm up next. Anna Nicole, Whitney, mm, guess. At the end of the game, the king and the pond go in the same box, same box, same box. Seven shots in the beam or two in the Tahoe. Hit him up, who shot you, shot you. At the end of the game, the king and the pond go in the same box, same box. Nobody's on touch. Seven shots in the beam or two in the Tahoe. No, hit him up, who shot you, shot uh, I got my back against the wall. Hand on my balls, I'm like, yeah, fuck him up. You can't buy time no matter what it costs You can die rich man but you still just a corpse just a You just bones in the box Seven shots in the beamer When they close that top And you don't mean shit through the eyes of a killer Staring at the mirror This shit gets real up And death the only thing promised Blood on the garment Nigga pay homage A king on the balcony Your dream departed Shot in the vocal cords How ironic I see the crown fall Then I said good Necessary, I'm good. At the end of the game, the king and the pond go in the same box, same box. Seven shots in the beam or two in the Tahoe. Hit them up, who shot you, shot you. At the end of the game, the king and the pond go in the same box, same box, same box. Seven shots in the beam or two in the Tahoe. Hit them up, who shot you. Same. Good looking on Wax Delgado. For having that that song, man. I've been meaning to play that when Nell was in town, man. We're gonna play this Khalid legendary till he call in. I have a feeling he's gonna call in right right now. Yeah. So it'll be a nice little lead in, man. Cause Khalid do Fresh. fucking go, sir. You get mad respect to play on my show. But there's only one crown, one love, and it's gonna be one king, nigga. Salute me! Yeah.
Dice la gente que me da Yes, you are. Broadcasting live, live, live. What's up? This is Wax. We pay Wax Delgado. What's up? Chilling, man. How you doing, sir? I appreciate the call in. Yeah, I know it was kind of a last minute shot. I was like, you said right now, you know, we when someone said they want to do an interview, I'm like, next day. Or, no, they're like, like, right now, right now. Nah. You know, I, I just smoked a blunt. I'm like, Hold Hey, that's on, the best man. time. We're going to get the truth out of Wax right now, folks. That's what he's All telling right. you. <laughs> Man, so anyway, because I don't know what's coming. What's going on, though, brother? Shit, man, doing? wax. Much respect and props to you, first and foremost. You've been a veteran out here. Not even saying that in the terms of people taking it negative. You, you've laid a lot of groundwork in this state. Are still paid in the way with a lot of new artists, man. LB Sharp, Judge the Boss. I heard you're clicked in with Kalik a little bit too, man. And that shit is yeah. fire, sir. So I just want to give you general salute. I'm wearing the general business crown right now because we're talking business. Okay. Yeah, man. So much love to you, sir, on that. And then you know what? Okay. I just wanted to also touch base on A May. Last time we met was off of uh, shit like Roosevelt and some not. And we was at the uh, Lost Leaf. And I had some dope ass R and B hooks for you, sir. I'm still writing. And my oh, man yeah. classic, <laughs> my man classic MC. We will. Ooh, we got this tandem like not like no other, bro. So. I, I do remember that conversation, and yes, I do, yes. Yes, so, yes. that's good shit, man. So, for the people who ain't familiar, man, and you know, you ain't got to catch me up, but let them know, what's up with Wax Delgado, what you been doing, what's your accolades, man? Go ahead and pop your collar, as I would say, my taco meat for a second. Go ahead, let them know. Oh, man, I have no no hair on my chest, by the way, I'm, so, I'm, I'm bald there, so. Damn, sir! Me. No, no. <laughs> I mean, you know, man, I'm, I'm kind of like sitting back now. I mean, I'm, I'm, I work very close with, you know, with, as you said, Judge and LV. I mean, they're kind of, you know, how can I say, on cruise control at this moment. So they're doing their thing. Her manager is, is paving the way for them, you know. Nice. I, and Judge, of course, he just signed a, a deal with Sony. So Much he, props you know, to you, I sir. I felt like, I always was like, you know, since, I don't know, 06, 07, I always knew that he was always going to be that one guy who would possibly get out there and, and Khalid would be like the next guy you know that I see I mean I've always liked his music from shit from when he was Ocean well, yeah, I was just getting ready to say his Ocean mixtape like, you know, was fire was supposed to be out you know what I mean and oh he, yeah he should have been he already has spoke about a couple of contracts that he turned down but you know what I'm saying but I mean I'm quite sure it was a reason but Nowadays, you know, you, you got to take what the fuck you can get. <laughs> some motherfuckers, I'm put some. Uh, can I curse, by the way? Oh shit, man! This is this is hell yeah! This is after <laughs> black. You on the after right, black well, edition? Yeah. Well, you know, I even know, during yeah, the day, I, you, you can know, say what the fuck you want to say. Just like that, but at, at the end of the day, I just want to see someone win. I mean, me and CC Peniston did it some years ago. Hey, he ain't gonna and, tell you. Finally, you know, it has happened. That was he. Be, and I just wanted to be able to bless and touch on the somebody that I feel is just that one inch away to something and, and push them over that. You know, I and that's kind of like man. what I felt with Judge and LV and Kalik as well. So, I mean, I mean, I feel like my job is pretty much done with her. We got music already, you know, set to come out. You know, Judge, of course, he has, you know, he, he has a feature on there, a song I did with, uh, called By Your Side. You heard the instrumental. I, I mean, you like the instrumental. Bro, man, I'm on your, I, I, I'm I, on your cloud, sir. The vocal version out there, man, because it's a hot track. You know, I mean, not just because I did it, but <laughs> it's a hot track. LV did a thing, and just to watch this short girl and her frame sing like that, I was just like, this shit crazy. Yeah, and man. Judge came in and, and, and laced the hot 16. I mean, it just went perfect, so... That's yeah. all. That's all you can pray for, man. Show that's going on Sunday, so I'm, I don't know if I'm promoting that, but I am. But yeah. Oh my bad. I did. I interrupted you. You said it's a car show on Sunday. Yeah, and I'm trying to get leak on that too. Nice. So. I have to see what I can do. So I can get three, you know, uh, uh, people that I've, that I've been involved with on, on a show like this. It'd be great, you know? 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, shit. You know what? If if one of them falls through, ATM will come through. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My nigga, I go. I go, <laughs> nigga. We'll go in the car, burn one, and play some instrumentals like we did that one night. So. No, I'm talking about getting on the show, my nigga. I go. <laughs> oh, okay. You oh, you performing? Okay, fuck it. Bring, bring your entourage. Do your thing, man. Make sure you wear your crown. You know, make sure you be you. You know all day saying, and, and everything will be alright All day every day man Hey man you know what Like I said Since you've been a I don't know necessarily If you're a native to Arizona or not Well you can discuss that But I just wanted to get your take on You know what Like you, you, you touched on it There's a lot of talent out in this state A lot of undeniable talent man So what is it or, or is it one thing Or is it a combination What's holding us back From having that national exposure And taking us over that edge We've had a few That's touched that cliff But didn't hang on Now what do we need man Oh well, yeah We definitely Got to need You know Support I mean you know um, I mean Arizona's Kind of Fans the We need fans we're, we're divided You know That's the first You know I had a conversation With Mel Smith At YMCMB And he was like Yeah that's You know You guys are you know, against each other, fighting and putting out diss records, and you know, and not really supporting one another. Like when when I was first trying to push with Judge and, and LV, I just was trying to just say, hey, you know, and LV, she did great with it, and that's why she's able to start flourishing in the way she is now because she was able to build a fan and a following. Exactly. You know what I mean? And then you just do that. And, and nowadays, you know, you have to. You have to hustle and grind out, you know what I mean? Because that's the only way you're going to get noticed and stuff. So well, I'm also still working out there doing promotional things and on the radio. And and Judge, you know what I'm saying? He he hooked up with, you know, Rampage. You know, shout out to them. Shout Rampage out to him, Marcy. yeah. You know, I, I worked with, with Deep Freeze and them, and, I, and they took Judge to New York. He signed with, with, with Salon Remy, who is a very well-renowned producer, and I'm... <laughs> Hold on, he signed with Salam Remy? He signed with Salam Remy? Dust on my hands. Hold on. This man. My bad wax to cut you off. Did you just say Judge was sitting with their sign with Salam Remy who made made you look Nas's producer? Yeah, that's yeah, who Judge is signed with. Man, man, props to you, sir. Go ahead and win, my nigga. Win, win, win. Well, yeah, yeah, that, that's what it is. And so hopefully from this chain, and then LV will be next to get, you know, inked on with a nice deal. You know what I mean? And Khalid, I mean, then shit. I mean, this, then people will now know Phoenix is something more than just a hot ass city or just somewhere people have been. A tourist to town. And retire, you know what yeah, I mean? we're not a tourist say, town, man. Oh, y'all know what's in there? Yeah, LV Sharks from there, Judge from there, Khalid from there, ATMs from there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like somebody has to make that relevancy. Exactly. Somebody's got to kick that fucking door in. And, and in our case, there's going to be a whole bunch of motherfuckers running in. At the but, same you know, damn time. Like, Nigga. Get a place in this, they're gonna better get a place in this game that's yet to determine. Exactly, man, and that's the whole thing. Like some people, like me personally, I don't get offended by the term local, but I just don't like it. But I'm gonna get side chicken real quick because you brought up something that made me want to bring up a story. And now I don't even remember, and that makes me look extra yeah, fucked up. Weed, huh? I know. Hey, fucking shit. <laughs> who, who, who was we just talking about? We was talking about... Yo, I met Judge the Boss shit, man, like in 2002, back when he was fucked with OME Studios with him and Ion and Trauma. That's when I met Judge. So that's a little side piece to let these niggas know. I've been in this shit, too. I'm here, too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Hey, hey. you know what? That speaks volume, man. So yeah, all but this stuff that wasn't even what I wanted to say, but that works. Right there and, and, and be seen, you know what I'm saying? Hang around these cats that people are looking at right now. So that way they'll be like, okay, who's this cat? Okay, slide that CD. Oh, shit, let me talk to you. Oh, That's hey, bro. Simple. Bro, I just remember what my story was. You said Rampage Deep Free. Shouts out. Hopefully you can tag Ramper. I, I met him at Celebrity Theater, and I told him this to his face, met his manager, all that good shit. I said, bro, I would have not had Wildin' Records, the name of my company, Wildin' Records, if it wasn't for his song, Wildin' for the Night. I remember in ninth grade, sitting there at my computer, and, and I lived in Mesa, Val Vista and Southern, and I fucking okay. Wild for the Night with Buster Rhymes came on, and I'm like, oh shit. So I started a clothing line back in high school called All Those Wildin' Clothing. And then, you know what, shit, it ups and downs, smiles and frowns. I pushed that shit to music as soon as I saw a keyboard in the Casio store, and it was all bad. So, shouts to Rampage for inspiring Wild and Records, my nigga. Like, that was all you. Like, literally all you. I mean, yeah. 
and, and he definitely came down here and insisted on a, on a situation because mm -hmm. of who he is and who he's connected with. To able to walk into an office at Sony and get just signed. I mean, that's kind of something that just kind of like unheard of now. You know what I mean? It's not. Really, oh, yeah, just, that well, means he, he got clout, man. Sony. He's I mean, a. Just go, he could deal with Universal. He's a respected you know, individual. Like you know what I mean? So, especially if you don't have a viral campaign going on and. And a, and a huge fan base and a thousand views, a million views on on YouTube and shit. You know what I mean? And so if you ain't buying still, them, there's still people. If you ain't buying them, will sign you based on what you have, you know, and what you look like. Like, the, okay, we can see and we can hear this motherfucker's gonna go platinum. We ain't gotta worry about some views on TV and on, on the internet and, and and plays on SoundCloud. I mean, that's. That's just kind of stupid to me, but that hey, yeah, it works out. Hey, so. hey, hey, some people are just born with it, man, and it's luckily we got a concentration of talent because nobody here is really from here, you know. So we we got the cream of the crop pickings. I, mean, you know, I feel like I feel I feel like a couple of Chicago ancestors <laughs> came down here and made relevancy of the, of it. So when you want to speak about the history of Arizona, yeah, me and R. K. Jackson probably started the urban scene here in Phoenix. Much love to you, sir. I, 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 there wasn't nobody else out here making beats besides me and him. You know what I mean? And, and we just started producing people and making relevancy out here. And it, you know, and now you see where it is now. I remember when it was just ten or twenty groups. Woo! Now it's Two thousand. <laughs> well, bro, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna date you and ask you exactly how long you've been uh, how long you've been making beats. But what was the first piece of equipment you used? And then uh -huh. what producer influenced you to even get started producing? Dr. Dre. Um, definitely. I mean, because with the Norn Q, personally, when he was out here, you know, um, he showed me a lot of what he was learning from from Dre. So it was kind of like, you know, my, my drum of the choice was was the SP-1200, so the Emu. So I had that, you know, I, that, whatever Dre had, I had to go get. So exactly. So I was like, okay, that was my influence, and that's what made me start doing the beats. And, hell, I'll say the year was 1987. I was a long, young kid. I was a small, little-ass kid at, in 1987. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, but man, fuck that. You was you, you, you had your dream down, man. You knew there was a path set forth to you, man. You know what? And there's ups and downs, smiles and frowns, my nigga. Like, yo, you, you've been at a lot of uh, pinnacles that artists and producers only wish they could have touched. You know what I'm well, saying? Like, so that knowledge that you can I mean, spread I mean, with individuals. Me and Lister, we're probably the only producers here in Phoenix that have platinum plaques. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, and not the disc listed, but you know he he produced some already established artists. I produced an unknown artist right here in Phoenix. Produced it, mixed it right here in Phoenix. So that kind of makes me kind of stand alone. Exactly, man. And that's why I said I didn't know if it was Grammy nominated, award winning. So I just yeah. went ahead and said. This nigga, no, this nigga just, just go. Um, I mean, you know, I don't want to hear him brag about this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to what's going on now. So that's why I kind of exactly. But you gotta understand this. And this support, the, you know, the new artists are like LV and Judge you, and and Khalid, definitely the whole '85 thing over there. '85 the fresh, place. bang. I mean, it, it's it's off the hook. So I mean, I definitely was. And when he said, hey, man, you want to work with 85 Fresh? I said, sure. I've always wanted to work with Khalid. Anybody who knows me already know how I felt about Khalid. So. Exactly. And yeah, I wasn't yeah. necessarily saying just for AZ, man. This is going worldwide, baby. So, you yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make sure that these people know that, yeah, and how do you feel about that label? How do you feel I mean, about you know, that term? Like, I've always thought big, like, okay, this is great, but how the fuck we get this shit to the rest of the world? So that's been kind of my, my kick on it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Getting it out of here. You know what I mean? I never thought small, you know? Exactly, man. A so of, A lot of people are just happy to just be doing shit around town. And, I'm, and you know, and having a demo that maybe 400 uh, people might hear, you know, or played. And <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm looking for the millions, you know. Exactly. And not 400 other rappers either. Like, what do we need to do to get more fans out here? Why? What's up with the promotion scene? How do you, you feel know, about paying exactly for tickets? And I hate to say this. You know, Phoenix is a dick ride in town. I mean, I hate Oh, that's the truth, like though. That. Let it be known. Known, my nigga, it, it, it is. I mean, uh, huh? I mean, when I said, let uh, it be known. It's the truth. <laughs> oh no, it's the truth. I yeah. Mean, and when Judge gets on, and, when, and then, you know, he's gonna have these fucking fans that he probably even didn't know he had, and then it's gonna go from there. Hopefully, he'll do the right thing and keep it Phoenix and, and put on the people and not get signed like some.
people I won't mention and just kind of, you know, put Phoenix in his rear view mirror and end up having to come right back to this motherfucker. So it's all about what you have, like a crew. Like, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you got a nice little stable. Of Support like system. Support yeah, that's system. So that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to promote here. So, you know. So, so do you think it's possible to have a... Come on, fuck you. And I'm, I'm, I'm from New York now. I'm from, you know, <laughs> you know, I ain't going to be none of that. Mm-hmm. You know, this is, this is where you at. You got to put on for your city. Because that's what people are failing to realize. If you don't, you know, turn around and give back, they're not going to give to you. You know what I mean? So and you know what? what I'm trying to preach into these young minds. That's what it is. And a lot of motherfuckers want to just be some fuck you and you know so that's pretty much what it is you know until we can get that bullshit already cut out the equation then we're we'll, we'll you know be able to flourish more and so I think when Judge hits that fucking shit and, and that the video gets out and, and he hits 106 and hard or, or whatever comes behind that and the same things for LV then then people are be like okay, oh my god but you can't you know you're, I mean? late. Yeah. you're late you're late and that goes into a perfect segue, man. It's like... That's just how they are. They, 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 they want to jump on what Atlanta jumps on. If they blow up... Like, when we started with CC's record, it blew up in San Francisco. Word. San Francisco. When, when Phoenix should have been the first one to get on it, the next thing you know, they heard about how hot it is in San Francisco. They jumped on it hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Trevor Brown's cold. CC, hey, yo, yo. They just jumped all on a strap real quick. With it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the way down from the DJs. You feel me? Yeah. It's been like kind of something that's been kind of destined in here from from, from history. <laughs> you know, like this how it is. We like, you know, the second city. You know, to catch on to the win and everything else. That's big. Well, I think the fifth largest city. It was like the fiftieth. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that we were just saying everybody here is not from here. So if you screaming that Arizona, Arizona shit, you either got to be exceptional or you just got to be dope and it don't matter where you come from you just happen to live here and i'm gonna remix how dennis green said our uh famous coach's line i'm gonna remix it you are where you think you are my nigga and where we at in the desert so flood that shit nobody out here is doing enough work man you gotta put some action behind them bars my nigga i know too many dope mcs albums that are never coming out yeah that's just horrible and i like how you're already because they put themselves in that box you know what I mean? They say, they isolate themselves and feel like they're afraid to come over to where niggas is winning. If I, if I want to win, I want to go where the winners are. I want to exactly. go where the winners are. Hey, what's going on? What, what you guys is doing that's making the radio play every, you know, the thing you guys put out? What's making you, you know, do a show, big show, not just any little small ass show, a big show every damn month or every, you know, twice or three times a, a month? You know, I mean, it's like because the team, the, the first of all, we're working with hot music. That's, that's the first and beginning of it. Yeah, that's, you got to, you got to have the fire, my nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and that's, that's a part of what I'm, I'm, I'm into creating is the fire. You know what I mean? If it's, if it's me, great. If it's another producer, I work with producers just as well as, well as I work with writers. Exactly. And other, you know, producers and other um, DJs. I work with anybody that I feel can, like, make some kind of calls into a situation. Exactly, man. It's- you know, DJs. I mean, you, I, I have to know all the DJs. I have to know all the promoters. That's how I'm able to, to walk into these clubs and, you know, saying be able to get them promoted you know giving that exposure like i did for lv i took her to the um you know uh what's the name of the club with um what's the uh, electric ballroom you yep. electric ballroom now it's well no it was the roxy now it's electric ballroom okay it's just crazy because that used to be like two main clubs out here back in the day <laughs> and uh red revolver took her there took her to um to the Drake after party, you know, put her on the flyer so that people could see her face. You know what I mean? And then I started bringing Judge into it at the New Year's Eve party at the Casablanca. So it's really about the relevant. People see you doing something, they see these pictures, they see like, damn, these niggas is in these cars, they in these cars, they got these chicks around them, they they doing something, like something's really going on. Then that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you see Judge right now, you know, everybody's up on that, that nigga sack right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody Hey, niggas that wouldn't even barely even say fuck him. Now they like right there nesting up under there like like a pew. <laughs> <laughs> we got some from Monday fucking fans. Hey, I mean, I just sit back and I love it, man. But you know, it's all good. I'm a 100 motherfucker. I mean, my job is, is, is producing and just seeing it go where it needs to go. 
And, and that's it. You know, I, I just wanted to make sure that they had the ingredients to make it. And I felt like they and, and Khalid are those, that, that, you know, if they had, we had a, route, a Mount Rushmore right now, they would be those three heads on top of Phoenix, on South Mountain. If they were to put three faces on South Mountain right now, it would put them three on there right now. Yeah, and of course, yeah. We, you know, we don't want to have them do no else. remodeling no time soon, so let's just give them five more years, and then they can just, you know, not do no remodeling. But hey, <laughs> no, I'm not even fronting because I know them niggas cold. You know what I'm saying? But I got a fucking steak to claim too. That star, get behind. That's one thing Mike Miller always said. He used to tell me, he's like, man, we need to find that star, get behind him, and push and get behind that star. You know, and support. And I, I totally agree. Bro, how many times have I played legendary? I played legendary. Got to fucking come up out of themselves and get their asses behind this shit. So. They can be relevant in some form or another. You know what I mean? Like at least so that you care about this hip hop. Exactly. I mean, really, I mean, even if it's a little different than how you spit, it's still all hip hop. And it's from so, here, and it's gonna yeah. benefit you in the long run. Exactly. Yeah, and I totally agree, you know I mean? man. I totally agree, man. Them they making huge noise, and I just briefly I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I I'm excited too, man. I'm talking to fucking Wax Delgado, my nigga. So excuse me. <laughs> Hey man, I met I met a lot of dope. I'm just such such a regular somebody that just. You nah know, man, hey, take that not nah, take that crown off and I mean, let I'm them doing niggas great know. This business, but I'm doing horrible and other shit. So let them niggas know, man. That's how it is, man. I'm just a regular nigga, just like everybody else that goes through the same struggles of, of us all. But you know, at the end of it, you know, God tells me, you know, I'm close. Just keep, just you know, I'm, I'm more or less sitting back and just kind of just. I planted the seeds, and now I'm just kind of just sitting back saying what it's doing. You know what I mean? So, now, do you think it's going to take, uh, you think it's going to take somebody that's been here for a minute or just somebody that's good? Because my main whole thing is it's just got to be somebody who's exceptional. So, you know, that's just that's just my take on it. Like, you're, you're producing good music. You've been doing good music. I've been wanting to work with you forever, so that's just how I feel. Like, if Kalik and them keep on the path that they're going, then I see nothing but the brightest stars and uh, dreams fulfilled for them, man. I, I'm, I'm trying to have a Midas touch, and I appreciate you know the respect for that. I mean, I, that's my first and foremost thing, and I always wanted to you know get that out to people that's thinking that I'm. When I say that someone's my artist, it's, it's meaning that it's someone that I'm working with in production wise, not meaning that I'm managing them. Exactly. A lot, There's, of see, got, people, a lot of things that got out and got Mr. Screw because I've made you know suggestions that this is an artist, this is one of my artists. You know what I mean? Because, but you know, people you know, outside the business. So, like, my name holds weight, you know, enough to, to say, hey, you got a platinum producer on your team that's, you know, that, 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 that's, 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 putting a little bit of touch of what he had going in the 90s into trying to excel your career. And, and, it's, and it's all about that. And, and, I, and, and it's all about the attitudes, too. Now, that's another deal break I ran into, is attitudes and personalities. Exactly. You, know what I mean? you have to stay humble. You know what I mean? I'm very approachable. You can talk to me. A lot of people run away from me. A lot of people <laughs> a lot of people think I'm just, you know, just, just, just so negative. You know what I mean? I, I, I speak the truth. You know what I mean? I, I tell her what it is. You know what I mean? I, I'll let you know if the shit is not hot. It's not hot. If, if you're going in the wrong direction, you have a bad attitude. You know what I mean? You, you're not picking. I mean, you know, shout out to like Futuristic. I mean, he's out there doing his thing. Shout he's out, sir. Get that record. That's what it is. So I feel like as a producer, I'm gonna have to go with him and help him get that record. You know? I mean, it's like yo, you know your <laughs> worth, man. And there's nothing well, wrong I'm with that. Step back for a while. There's huh? nothing wrong with that wax knowing your worth, man. You've been in it enough to know your worth and can call those shots as humble as it is and appealing as it is to be humble and let these niggas find out sometimes you especially in this desert our climate is not like you said atlanta new york we don't have that luxury to being able to sit back and wait for a scene to happen we gotta build that shit so if that means that wax gotta put his foot in your ass and let you know he been doing this listen to me nigga then you y'all need to do that, and I'm saying that that ain't even him a lot saying of people that. People don't like to be told what to do. Or, well, you know what? They ain't trying to win, man. You've been at the top, man. So fuck that right, bullshit. And, and, I, and I, I feel like that's what I deal with a lot is people pretty much knowing and feeling they have the, the, the direction and the idea of where they want to go, and then another year or two later they they looking at me like, "What's up? Let's do some work." Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, beat hoarders. Yeah, you know the beat saying? hoarders on I, TLC, I nigga. On the train back then when we was trying to hop everybody. On there, but it, you know, 
that's it. You know, when 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 this train, when this puppy rolls, I mean, it's rolling. You know what I mean? Get on or get left behind, nigga. And I want to say something just briefly. Two quick points, and then I got about 10 minutes left on here. So okay. I'm going to do two points, and then I want to ask you about, you know, what requests you want to give me at the end of here, and then your shout-outs. But I want to say, you know what? A lot of it is, man, people don't want to don't wanna give their all. Either, you know, this is a business. This is not a hobby for a lot of people, but for a lot of people... How ironic that is, it is a hobby for him, man. And I, I think that shit sucks. If you're not going to give it your all, I salute y'all, but I say crawl in the hole and die, my nigga. Give it your all or get the hell out of the way. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I hate that. I, like, I, yo, ain't no half assing. Ain't no half stepping. Ain't no half stepping. Ain't no half stepping, bro. Ain't none of that. So I, so, I, so I had to go through Phoenix with a fine tooth comb. You know what I mean? To to pick out those ones that were like there. I mean, I know everybody like, oh, you just working with her because she's pretty. Ah, no, fuck that. She can fucking sing. She is talented, you know man. I mean? That <laughs> beauty is a plus, but she's want talented. See, they want to see something. They want to see Judge take off his shirt. They want to see him walking around. They want to see LV walking around. So I made sure I put them two together for sure, you know, on, on, on record. So if, 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 if the judge goes, she goes. If she goes, he goes. Or however, they're already linked in. And then everything that kind of falls into place after that, you know. So I'm definitely trying to get Kalik in, into that whole circle as well because he is probably one of the top lyricists out here. I always said he was one of them dudes. Yeah, Kalik is definitely up there. When this classic EP come out, you may have to uh, put a number two, one of those positions. You pick, but somebody going number two once this classic album come out. That's all I got to say. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know. And, but it's not even a competition yeah. like that because we're not in a position to even claim that. But just know we're going to have more than one to three to four to five stars, just like you're hinting to, man. There's so much talent out here. It got to go. Just know the nature of hip-hop was built on competition, and that's just what I'm talking about. Right. You're right. So, hey, excuse me. Hey, man, but shouts out. Wax, go ahead. You got this time to give all the shouts out you need, sir. And then I'm going to need a request from your brother. Oh, man. I mean, you know what? I've never really been up the shout out type of guy. You know what I mean? But I definitely want to give a shout out to you. Definitely your whole crew and everybody that you're working with over there. Thank you, uh, sir. You know, everybody over there, I can't even name. You know, but you know the crew I'm talking about. I do. And, and over here, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, definitely a, a big shout out to Judge. And like I said, you know, he keeps doing what he's doing. LV, of course, Khalid, 85 Fresh, that whole crew over there, Bryce, Trice. I mean, everybody who, who believes that. In themselves. You know, that I, yeah, exactly. And, and, and understand that, you know, regardless of our differences that we may have personally, business is, you know, is everything. And that's what I'm trying to, you know, install into this. You know, so, I mean, you know, these guys are definitely, you know, somebody who's ready to take this mission with me. You know, that, that I'm mean, ready to take it together. You know what I mean? We all kind of like are, are masters at our positions, you know, whether it be marketing, promoting, mixing, mastering. You know what I mean? We have the whole, you know, everybody. So it's like building, it's building a team right now is what, is what I'm, you know, involved in. Exactly. Because that's what exactly what I have to do. I can't do it by myself. I know that. I can't produce hey, everything. Hey, heavy is the head that wears the crown, my nigga. For real. All right. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, bro, what, what are you listening you know, to? Everybody, you know, that, that's really been supporting. I, I want to give a shout-out to those people who've really been supporting these people and, and, and looking out and, and, and looking for that next person to make and, and to get the relevancy that we need. So it, that's that's what the answer of what it's going to be. We need to have a validation from somewhere that's cracking. In Atlanta, or New York, or Chicago, I have to say somebody out there in Phoenix is putting it on. Phoenix got something going on. As and whack as that is, it's needed. Yeah, as so whack as it saying, is. That's how it's going to happen. Exactly. Well, I'm on your SoundCloud right now, bro. I know you know what you shared, liked, reposted, and posted yourself. <laughs> Give me anything oh, on man. your cloud you want to play, or it can be an industry song, but YouTube going to sue me, and I'm trying to get monetized, my nigga. So what do you, what we got going? We, play me something. Yeah. Mm, I'm trying to think. What, what, you know what? What is on there? You know what? I like that new Black Mon Monroe song. You know, I just passed that uh, up. Let's go ahead and play that. That's fire, sir. Yeah, I mean, I had that track um, just sitting in the cooler already, and 
I've been already been like peeping his music and his sound. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I might have some form, you know. And he's always asked if I had something for him, and I said, you know what, I do. And I sent it to him. He, I didn't, you know. And usually, I'm always in the studio with him. I never really just I, a beat maker just gives you a beat and you just go in there. And no, you're you a producer. Know, I'm a producer and too. With you and, right. It's a big so difference. When I sent it to him. They went in there and did their thing. Him checking traps. He, he laced it. I'm, I'm with it. So this one and, and the song is only like a minute and a half long. It's almost get to, to where we need to cut off these four minute long songs. Dang. Well, here it is, right here, man. Produced by Wax Delgado, Black Maroon, featuring checking traps. Bang. I appreciate your time, sir. Let me holler at you after the break. Cool. Bang. She only five foot sun, huh? Attitude like an eight foot Simone. But I swear, baby, you always got a different conversation. The situation is I'm about to catch a body. We're out to black with black men, bro. Light bright, looking like a bag of dollar bills. She's from the town by the light, and she do a trick. Booty in the trunk, right on when she walk by. I'm the breath on the field, black cause she offside. She got a bad attitude, and I don't seem to like her. So I'm a knife up, probably one night up. Too busy for the bullshit, top her off. Cool whip, she got loose slips, and I'm peeping the whole What's good, my G? I said, you the shit. We shall link. Me and Wax just chopped it up up about up, up about you on my show. I will tag you. I'll tag you, and I got shit for you, and I ain't gonna give y'all my number, unless you already got it, but that's what I told him, man. Today was a great day. We had a good show. Earlier call-ins today from TJ Superhype, a veteran. Fucking another call-in today from motherfucking Wax Delgado, a veteran. Yo, I respect these people, and it's reciprocated, man. Fuck that. I show love, man. Fuck all y'all that call me a hater. Fuck the hate. Let's do it. Hold on. I know you to get to shut this door. I made it. Stupid. Who the fuck said they better than me? Say it to my face. Saying what is going on. Who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Same nigga on this motherfucking mic, dog. That's me. Who the fuck said they better than me? Say it to my face. Saying what it's going to be. Who the who the who the fuck said I'm better than y'all? Yeah, so that's just fire. Go. 